Hello and welcome to Coding Fact Families in Scratch Junior with me, Miss Green at Hoyas in Ed. I'd begin with the question, what is a fact family? And a fact family is that group of related math facts that have the same numbers. And then I would ask my students, which fact families would we like to code? And I might break them into different groups before we build our project pages. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing the math fact family of three plus two, two plus three, five minus three, and five minus two, as well as three plus four, four plus three, 7 minus 3 and 7 minus 4. Now in this first coded program that I'm featuring with the Safari background, you'll see that I'm going to be using the different trigger blocks from the yellow building blocks. So those trigger blocks are going to be send message, receive message, in order for my students to do the visual and mental math. So two flies plus three flies equals according to the zebra with a delay block how many the students would visually see and have one of the sprites give the answer and i'm going to build out these particular pages by using each project page in scratch as one of the wonderful number sentences now i'm also going to use those wonderful title tiles where you're going to see the five minus three equals and i'll have my students design their page where they can either use the title tiles in different areas of their main project or they're going to use that wonderful number sentence somewhere in either their looks block or in the green audio block by using an audio file within their coded program. So as you see here, I've got different movements, delays, and there, those are the title tiles that I've chosen for the Safari style coded project. Now, there's another way of doing this as I just mentioned before. What I'll do is I'll have my students use the different looks blocks for them to delay or have the different sprites show up or be invisible at different points in their coded program. Now, let's say I don't want to have the title tiles using those fact families. Another way to code is that they just use the look block or they're gonna use the audio file block in the green to express that particular number sentence using the different project pages. Now, in this case, I've done pretty similar. Um, I'm starting off with the subtraction to begin with. So my night fairy is going to go over, touch two of the sprites, and then ask the question, how many are left? So unlike the Safari coding, where I started off with the plus, the addition number sentences, in this coded project, I'm beginning with the subtraction number sentences. And what's wonderful about this is the students can then build these stories and a way for them to quiz themselves and build programs using the math facts. And you'll see that I've also used the paint editor when I'm building the fish. So in Paint Editor, as you'll see in a moment, I've used the stamp feature to copy and then design uh, the unique sprites for my Math Fact Family Fun here. Math Fact Family Fun features creative elements, story elements for your English language arts connection, the mathematical computations and mental math thinking, which are your mathematical connections, the coding work for your computer science connection, and also you're using many of the ISTE student standards of innovation design, computational thinker, and creative communicator 
So that's why I like using Scratch Junior to present those creative elements. Now remember, you can use the paint editor to select, copy, rotate, to design a unique character for your fact family. In this case, uh, I'm using three crabs as the three within the fact family for seven, four, and three. Now for advanced coding, I'm going to create four starfish, kind of minimize their size, and then I'm going to use the trigger blocks known as the send message, receive message, and you're going to see those envelopes there, but also when touched. You'll see that in this particular project page, I'm just going to touch the different characters and they're going to be sending and receiving messages in a particular time delay. And that way the students can constantly interact, have a little loop here of this particular subtraction math fact. So there are other ways for student teams to advance their coding. They don't necessarily need to create four project pages. I might challenge my advanced coders to present the math facts using the different when touch signals and send envelope signals so that they become a little bit more aware of how to simplify their algorithms. Whichever method you choose to present these different math fact family projects, you can challenge the advanced learner with an individual project, have paired programming, or even have students in a small group work on creative fun. I'll link more information for lesson extensions in the comments below. And I encourage you just to showcase your own work using Scratch Junior through the different social media platforms. As always, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the creative coding world.